hey you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog i'm ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and i could become acquainted and so that we can do things like this on the regular girl because we're trying to grow here and get to know one another <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to come in and real quick start off this week's vlog and tell y'all thank you so much for laughing with me uh when i sh when i share with you guys that i fell in the restaurant last week girl y'all thought it was just as funny as i did luckily i have a great sense of humor and i don't take myself that seriously so that shit was funny like <laughs> if it was anybody else maybe i would have been a little bit more concerned like oh my god are you okay but since it was me and i knew i was fine I'm like girl you look crazy and that shit was hilarious but anyway y'all um have great sense of humor it's just like me and that's why we buy the way that we do here on this channel but um but yeah so i wanted to just come in like i said start off this week's vlog as you can see i'm wearing my new unit that um i showed you guys in a couple of vlogs ago i actually did another did another excuse me bleach bath on this unit like last week to lighten it up a little bit because it was a little dark uh for my preference as you know like i'm a blonde i like to wear blonde hair so anything a little bit darker is a little like you know it takes a little bit of getting used to and when i lighten this up it uh it's more my flavor you know it's very fall it's getting fall and um i like it even the curliness you know it's uh i like it so um it's a little long so i'm kind of getting used to that as you can see it's like past my boobs in the front and in the back it's like almost if i can back up this coat let me try to hide the bum but because <laughs> it's a lot girl um and it's almost touching my bum almost i guess if you do it like that but anyway i like the hair it's different it's spa vibes so we're gonna see how it um how it how we continue to like it as the season progresses i just wanted to try something new i've been having the same look for so long it's time to get out step out of the box girl but um but yeah so like i said i just wanted to come in start off this week's vlog you guys um hopefully we can get into some fall festivities i can't believe that october's already almost over like i literally just came in it was like, oh my God, I can't believe September is almost over. And now we about to say the same thing about October. And I love October. I love September too. Those is actually two of my favorite months back to back. Like, I love the weather. I love the seasons. I love the, the stuff. You know what I mean? So it's just unfortunate that October is almost over. My friend says that um, they want to hit the fair again. Um, as you guys saw, we went to the fair last week, the Atlanta fair. This is the fair, like, if you live in a city, it's like the fair that's like right off the highway, off the 7585. It's the one that's like in the old Turner Field lot where the Braves used to play. So if you ride on, if you ride on the expressway, there's no way that you can miss it. But um, my friend wants to go again to get another funnel cake. I was like, you know what, let's do that. Cause the fair ends in like, I think two weeks or so. I think it's November 7th is the last day. But we were so like anxious and geeked up to get a funnel cake and some Oreos that fried Oreos that we went to the first stand and vendor as soon as we got in the damn fair. And it was not good girl. <laughs> like, it was like, there were so many other vendors and stands that had funnel cakes and fried Oreos, but we was just so greedy. And so, like, we literally, that's why we went. Like, we left the sports bar to go get some sweets at the fair. Like, it was crazy. So, anyway, we want to go again, but we definitely going to try to do a different vendor this time. Oh, let me show y'all what uh, I got. What was one for me at the fair. Just a second. I, <laughs> I got a bear. So somebody won me a bear. He is so cute. I wish he was black and white, but it's okay. Um, he's blue and his name is T. Um, so I got a bear and a basketball. <laughs> a Cleveland Cavaliers little basketball. So I just thought that was super cute. Like it just made this type of stuff and going to the fair last week literally just made me feel like a little girl or a little teenager all over again i just thought it was super cute and i don't even remember anybody winning me 
fair prizes back in the day. I don't remember this, but anyway. A girl is never too late. <laughs> but anyway, me and the bear T just wanted to come in and say, hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's vlog. And girl, let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all, I'm so excited. I got this mirror on sale at Target last week. It was like one of the Target deal days. It's a Project 62 big ass round mirror. I think the regular price was $80 and I got it on sale for $48 if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I'm gonna take it out the box and show y'all. It is huge. I don't know, I have no clue where I'm gonna get it, where I'm gonna put it. Um, another thing I gotta show y'all is that rug damn i'm sorry something on my rug somebody just stepped on my rug oh lord oh i'm so anal about my rug y'all anyway the rug that i showed you guys that i got from target in last week's vlog um it was way too small for my kitchen floor <laughs> as you can see because it's supposed to be for a bathroom anyway um so what i did is i layered it similar to what a lot of the girls have been doing with like their um their welcome mats and their front doors or whatever so i layered it on top of my old kitchen rugs i thought that was a cute little a cute little look but yeah i'm about to open up this mirror show y'all what it looks like and girl who knows where we're putting it but she's gonna be kept hey you guys i'm just coming in to share with you what i just got in the mail via h&m let me make sure i don't show my address <laughs> but that let me just say instagram ads work which is one of the reasons why I need to start doing more of those for for my website because I got I saw this on an Instagram ad last week from H&M and I had to have it. I like ordered it immediately. It just so happens that I had a promo code. It was like 25% off with free express shipping. So that was like a long time. I didn't even realize that I had that promo code until I went into where it is. So anyway, it's just it's a lap. The girl was wearing it on the um on the ad in the ad as a clutch, but it's technically a laptop case. It is a quilted laptop case. And I'm gonna tell you off top, the color look a little bit darker on the website. But it's still cute as hell nonetheless. Let's see. Make sure I don't cut it. You know, I'm a clumsy girl. <laughs> Given that the fact that I fell last week, as I told y'all. But anyway, this is the clutch slash laptop bag. It's just this taupe color. And I think that was the color. I don't say nothing on this. But I think this was like $12.99 or $14.99. I paid like $10.43 after my discount. But um, it was looking real cute on the model. She had it kind of like clutched up and kind of styled like so. And I want to say it was a little slouchy. I don't know. Maybe she had it like filled with stuff. I'm not exactly sure. But it looks hella basic. But I'm just all about clutches right now. I love like for fall. I'm just loving all the clutches. I got some more slouchy clutches that I'm actually going to be adding to my website here soon but this look like i said this looks hella basic but once you style it up she's gonna be real cute and also once she got some stuff in her let's stuff her with this and see yeah, it already look cute let me take this tag off this is what it looks like on the inside just basic with the h&m side but yeah i think she's super cute like I said, I'm gonna be giving lots of fall looks with clutches this um this season. So she'll be one of them and for ten dollars. Girl, you can't beat it, child. So yeah, HM for the win. It don't look right stuffed actually. So <laughs> I'm gonna take this stuff out. But of course when I style her up and wear her out, I'm gonna show y'all. So I had to come in and show you guys what that mirror looks like that I got in the mail from Target that I showed you guys the other day. It's huge. And it is black. And it's like has a metal frame. It looks so expensive. It looks so much more expensive in person. But it's so damn heavy. And it came with like the um, 
like the bracket things that you put on the back or whatever and you have to hang it with one of those screw nails or whatever so um she's really cute i don't know i have no clue and i have pants on i have on leggings you guys uh, i know it it looks like i'm nike but um like i said she's huge i gotta get this hung up somewhere i kind of was thinking about putting it over here and taking down this picture of dizzy gillespie above like this little um glass thing that i have with these sticks and stuff and also <laughs> some faux lilies and some olive branches bro that i didn't know what to do with um all of that stuff it wasn't supposed to come out that way but <laughs> initially it was just those black and white sticks but i might put it above this um this wall here but it's like so it's gonna literally take up this entire wall which is fine but um like i just wanted to come in and show you guys like i said this was on sale on target i got it off um for 48 dollars now it's back on as the regular price which i think is 80 dollars, and it's a 60 inch mirror so it's huge and it's beautiful so i highly recommend it it comes in gold also i have a link down below um so if you are interested you can check it out if you're looking for like a badass like modern ish contemporary mirror she would be a great girl hey you guys so i need your opinion <laughs> On those faux leather leggings that I bought from Nordstrom and I showed that to you guys in last week's vlog I told you I was like on this kick one tour like for a two day straight where I was just like I gotta have some faux leather leggings so I was just like stalking them and trying to get some good quality ones and I found these from Nordstrom girl and uh, they probably look pretty decent from back here but they're a little baggy first of all I don't think they're supposed to be <laughs> High waisted and they come all the way up to here so that's number one number two they're baggy like in the legs and shit can y'all tell let me see if i can put you guys closer to the floor how about that but i just feel like are they supposed to feel like this for y'all the girls who have full leather leggings like are they supposed to fit this way? With all this bagginess, like even in the back, it's like, I don't think it's giving what it's supposed to give, girl. I don't know. And I was so geeked, girl. I got them for like $35 um, off of Nordstrom and Halogen. They're supposed to be good quality and blah, blah, blah. But I really want them to work, but I just don't think like I, sh I don't think they're supposed to be having all this. And the reason why this is such a um, a dilemma as far as should I send them back is because this is the smallest size. I don't know if halogen um, makes straight sizes, but in plus size, this is a, this is a 1x, which is a 14, 16. So they don't have anything that's smaller than that. I'm like, girl, how what what is your size? Or does halogen run big? Cause I didn't think I could fit no damn 12, 14. Like, girl, I'm a 14, 16. <laughs> but uh, just let me know what your opinion is. Do you guys think, first of all, if you have, like I said, if you have full leather leggings, are they supposed to fit like this? I know they're not like athletic leggings that you work out in, but damn, like, I don't think the knees are supposed to be all. I don't think you're supposed to have no, you know, extra fabric in the knees, but I trust your guys' opinion. Let me know. What do you think? I'm not going to take them back until I see your comments. Thank you. In advance. <laughs> Y'all want to know how to properly secure the bag? <laughs> this is how, you guys. This would be how. I'm looking at this. Like, what y'all got going on? Walmart. Um, as you can see, I am sweating this H&M clip, y'all. It is just so cute and just easy. I might need to get another one. I was thinking about getting the black one, but um, I already have the black Chanel okay, so it kind of would defeat the purpose, but, but yeah, I love her. Good morning, guys. I'm just about to run into TJ Maxx real quick. I'm hoping that 
I can look up and get a good seasonal candle because your girl is low. Look how cute this dog is, y'all. Look at him. I want a dog so bad. I know I probably say that every week, y'all, but I really do. I just don't know if I want the emotional attachment. But yeah, let's see what they Y'all, I done hit a lick. They got full stock. A full stock. I have not seen the candle wall this stocked probably ever. And as soon as I walked up, look what I found. The famous apple pumpkin. So, you know, your girl's taking her home. Look how disgusting this sounds, though. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> really neat of you, home. And then they have little mashed potatoes <laughs> on the top. I'm going to smell this shit just for the hell of it. Let me see. So, I got to smell this on camera. <laughs> it's not giving mashed potatoes it's giving butter girl <laughs> it's giving like honey butter it's definitely a no but <laughs> like who wants a smash where's the top at now I can't find the top but yeah girl they have Plenty of candles. This is peony petals. So she's gonna be a no. There's mountain air. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, it does. And I was like, he's standing behind me because there's another person on the other side. So I had to like. Girl. So you guys, I am at a new nail shop, but it's like right across the street from where I live or down the street and around the corner. And it's quite fancy in here. Like, it's really nice. And it's really good. I'm so old school, I still get regular nail polish and I brought my own nail polish, so. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I am done. I just wanted you to see how cute it is in here. So you guys, I definitely hit a lick at TJ Maxx as I just showed you guys. So I was super excited to see they had apple pumpkin and the big ones. These are like the 90 or 128 hour candles. So these are the biggest ones. Um, and then I also got hip and I um, just got introduced to the blackberry pumpkin, which smells just as good, if not a little bit better than the apple pumpkin. So if you see that, get it. You won't be mad. And then, of course, I also got a um, one of these smaller ones. This is Fireside Embers. Y'all don't know what the notes are in this candle. This one is a 56 hour candle and it smells amazing. I love that black wax. It looks so pretty, but um like I said, I don't know the notes on this one, but it smells really good, so I'm excited. It's a little bit more musky, a little bit more masculine. Um, and of course, I just got my nails done. My uh, nails, my hands are extra ashy, but uh, I got this rose gold color. Like I said, I take my own nail polish to the um, the salon, and this is Orly Rage, so it's like this rose gold metallic color. I've had it for years. I have a gold one too, but it is really, really pretty, y'all. So, and I really enjoyed um, that nail shop. It was nice as hell up in there. They were super nice and super fast. But, but anyway, I think I'm about to burn blackberry pumpkin. Um, now this one was $9.99 for the smaller one, and then these larger ones are $14.99. But um, I'm cool on candles for right now because these should burn. Like I said, the big ones burn for at least 90 hours. So. I should be good for a couple of weeks on candles, hopefully. And I just got this out of um, the Amazon hub. This is just some rosemary oil for my hair so I can wash my hair this coming up week. But, um, but yeah, I just had to come in and show y'all. hit a lick uh, at TJ Maxx and I'm super excited. So I had to come in and show y'all what um, someone gifted me yesterday. 
Um, <laughs> they are these beautiful, and when I say beautiful, these are extremely beautiful. These um, chocolate clever strawberries. The person who gifted these knows that my favorite color is black. <laughs> And um, I love Tito's. Everybody knows Tito's is my drink, but inside of the chocolates are these little Tito shots. So I just thought that was so sweet. Y'all, how pretty are these freaking strawberries? And how thoughtful, like, to know that I love Tito's and that my favorite color is black. Like, <sighs> let's just say it put a big smile on my face. And I had to share. So shout out to you. <laughs> so we're out. Enjoying some La Marco Prosecco. I made some homemade cream corn. I used Jay Nice's recipe from Instagram. She um, made the other day. I made some homemade red mashed potatoes. They're super buttery, bro. Some garlic butter rose and some stuffed salmon oh i also made a brownie let me show you hey you guys i just wanted to come in and end this week's vlog here because girl i don't want to forget <laughs> to end up the vlog if you made it this far I alexa next song actually alexa off sorry y'all <laughs> she don't be listening y'all know she don't listen alexa off <laughs> what happened to the boy coolio just roll you know you remember the boy coolio i'm really showing my age at this point but girl you remember the boy coolio you remember the boy coolio but anyway, like I said, you guys, I just wanted to come in and end off this week's vlog. If you made it to the end, you are greatly appreciated. I truly, truly, truly want to thank you, girl. As you can see, I'm feeling quite foxy from these, uh, you know, the previous things that I just showed you, of course. But again, if you made it to the end of the vlog, I greatly appreciate you. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, of course. And I will see you in next week's vlog.